Chapter 11 I entitled The Blessings That the World Has to Offer and I talk a lot about the life of Solomon. This was a king that had everything in the world he could have possibly asked for. He had cattle, women, land, this amazing palace and you see even as God has blessed him so richly his response to having all these things is that eventually his very things turned his heart away from the Lord. And I think about that a lot in my own life because sometimes I'm tempted to buy into that American dream. You know, the, the big house, the picket fence, the 2.5 kids, whatever it looks like for you. And I buy into this lie that if I just had a little bit more, then I'd be satisfied. And I know that a lot of that is I just have to lay before the Lord and, and realize that God is not going to give me things that I prize over Him. That's not the best thing for my soul. So if you may, you may be asking today, you know, why hasn't God given me a different spouse, a different family, a different job? Then I'd feel blessed. But when we make those things idols in our lives, the worst thing God could possibly do is give those things to us. Because then we would never know the true satisfaction that we can find only in the Lord. So I hope today that you learned from Solomon's lesson. And if you truly want to be someone that experienced that rich blessing of the Lord, not necessarily looking for it in things of this world, but truly seek first the kingdom, and all those things will be added to us as we need them.